Hello, my name is Kenneth Perry. I am your technology expert. Welcome to my channel, K Perry Global. Today we're gonna to talk about multitasking in Windows 10 and how you can be more productive using the snap feature, task view, virtual desktops, and timeline, where you can go back in the time and pick up where you left off. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the content, but I got some housekeeping here, right? So if you like the content, feel free to hit the like button, comment in the comment section, right? And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global Channel. Okay, hit that button. We're ready to roll. Hey, man, why your face stuck like that? <laughs> You're crazy. All right, let's get into the content. Okay, what you're looking at right now is Snap in Windows 10. I have multiple windows open at one time. Yes, I have four windows open one time. Now, how do you achieve using the snap feature to its fullest and being able to utilize four different windows at one time. I can scroll up and down here, right? In my app store, I can continue to browse the web and search in Bing. I, I can have multiple websites open at one time and I also have the ability to work and be more productive. So in Outlook or Word, Excel and PowerPoint. If you are a power user, this is an awesome feature for you because it's going to allow you to be more productive. So let's hop in and let me show you how you can make that happen. Now, everyone's done this at one point where they've taken a window, you've moved it around, right? You've done that before. So maybe you click on this window uh, right here so you can see the content that's on this particular window because you're working here. And then when you wanna go back, you just click on this window to continue to work. Well, you don't have to do that with Windows 10. And this feature has been around since 2015, pretty much the inception of Windows 10. This is not new here, okay? So when I click and drag and move to the left, you're gonna get a visual A here. You see that shadow there? There's the shadow right there. When I let go of the mouse, then it splits the screen and it optimizes the rest of the windows here so I can choose what application that I want to complete the snap with or the split with. So I'm gonna choose the Microsoft website now we have the Microsoft website on the right hand side here. So now I can continue to browse the web and look at some cool new surfaces that just was announced today. If I want to watch a video on the new surface, I can watch the video on the left hand side here as well. Now, as I showed you in the beginning, you can do four windows at one time. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do so. So I can click, left click and drag and move the mouse over to the left hand corner here. So now move to the left hand corner. You see that visual aid there? That yep, visual aid is right there it's telling you, hey, you can let go now, Ken. All right, so now it does the same thing. So we're gonna duplicate that. So I'm gonna click and split the screen, bam. Now you have three windows open at one time. So now we're gonna go to the right hand side and select the Microsoft website and then move to the upper left hand corner where you get that visual aid, let go. And then we're gonna select Microsoft Word here, bam. So now you have the four windows open at one time, allowing you to be more productive. Let's open a Word document. And just to show you what I can do here. So while I'm working, I can browse the web and say if I see something in the browser or a video or something, I wanna capture that information, I can right click and I can copy the link and then I can right click on Microsoft Word and I can paste in Microsoft Word, and there's the link right there. If I'm browsing a web and I wanted to go to a separate web page, I can simply click the new tabs button and then type in another website. Uh, let's go to msn.com, enter. And if I want to have another browser open at the same time, then I can click, drag, and then let go, drop it, and then I can move it to the lower left-hand corner here. Now I can view three different browsers at one time using Microsoft Edge. So there is a ton that you can do in Windows 10 from a multitasking standpoint. You also have Task View, and Task View shows you all the applications or windows that you have open at the current time and allows you to use multiple desktops when using those applications. So if I'm working, then I can use my working applications in desktop number one, 
or if I'm if it's from entertainment purposes or you're working on multiple projects, you can use desktop number two or desktop number three. And all you have to do in order to activate the desktops is click on the window you want and then drop it in the desktop that you want to use. So I have desktop number two, desktop number three. I'm going to use one more desktop there and desktop number four. So I can click on desktop number two and then go back to the task view and click on desktop number three to see what content is on desktop number three and so on, so on. So I'm going to go back to task view. And if I want to eliminate the desktops, then I can just simply click on the X and then I eliminate the desktops and all the other applications will go back to the main desktop. You can go back in time with timeline, literally back in time. Uh, there's no time machine needed. All you have to do is use your mouse or your finger. On the right hand side here, you have now and then it goes back to September the 2nd. So roughly a month back that you can go. So I can scroll down and literally drag this all the way down. What was I doing a month ago? Uh, okay. Looking at Michigan basketball with Zeb Jackson from Toledo, Ohio. How's it going, Zeb, if you're watching? When I click on this, it opens up the Edge browser and takes me directly to that page on the website that I was viewing with the article that I wanted to view. Thank you for watching How to Multitask in Windows 10. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. Comments, keep them coming in the comment section, right? And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global channel. All right, hit that button. Oh, I forgot the K Perry Global YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> cut, man, cut. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Peace.